All right, so here we are in Bora Bora, and we just got here, and I want to show you, because some people are asking, what's my kit? What did I take in photography gear, and how did I pack it? And that's what I want to show you, because this is an art form. First of all, I used to, we used to take four of these things. Two of them were clothes, and two of them were photography gear, and that had a long, giant uh, light stand thing. So now we're down to one suitcase for her and one for me. So let's get rid of hers because we don't need it. So we each had one big suitcase, and we each had one carry-on. Well, actually, one roller bag and one carry-on. So this was what she, she took, one of these, and she had her bag on there, but each one of these roller bags is heavy photography. That's my cameras and lights. So if they lost the big stuff, we at least had this with us at all times. This stuff is, uh, I'll show you in a second here. And then I had, we each had a roller, I mean a, a carry-on. So I'll show you how this works. All right, so both of these, she took one, I took one, is cameras and lights. The most heaviest, bulkiest, <laughs> craziest thing to take with you on a trip is lights. That's what takes up the most weight, especially if you're also doing video along with photography and strobes. And I've got two 8600s with me on this trip too. All right, so let's get the big suitcase out of the way first. This is, Try to get the most lightweight suitcase you can. This thing's great. We actually got this from Walmart. It's been around the world a bunch of times. And half of it is photography gear, and the other half is clothes. These four and a half inch reflectors, I have socks in there. <laughs> Every there's a lot of air inside here, so I just stuff them with socks. Every bit of space is totally used. Anyway, so this is mainly Light, light stands and tripods and reflectors and stuff like that. One of my favorite uh, new uh, carbon fiber tripods. I'll go over, a, I'll do a tripod, another tripod video soon, but this one is great. It goes up to six feet tall. And so this is, this is just tripods and light stands and pole type things and reflectors and stuff like that. So if this gets stolen or lost, not a big deal, not the end of the world. And of course, I got my two big soft boxes here. So let's not focus on that right now. Let's get into the good stuff. So here, the first one of these, the base of this is two AD600s. That's the main part of this. And then I have little things around it. I've got two AD200s in, in the side here, batteries. And, uh, you know, every inch is used up. I got my, my, uh, uh, this isn't a charger. This is a video recording device. This is a ninja. Anyway, <laughs> um, so here I have that. This is a basic thing. I got my lens cleansers and things there. That's basically two. This is my uh, 8600s and 8200s. Now comes the, the heart of everything right here. This is what I'm proud of. First of all, Two softs, two modifiers right here. 40 in, 43 inch silver umbrellas in case all the other stuff gets stolen. I've got this. Then I have two Stellas. These are 10,000 watts. Uh, the most powerful battery powered small portable lights that you can get. They're heavy, they're expensive, but for video, nothing beats these Stellas. So I got two of these. Uh, now here's the cameras and lights. I got two flashes in case one doesn't, triggers in case one doesn't work. Uh, filters and lenses. So what, what lenses did I take on this trip? Well, let me start with the cameras first. Got my a7 III, trusty a7 III, a7C, another a7C, and a, a custom made eye cup for bright sunlight that I fashioned in my MacGyver-ish way. Uh, a7, what is that? That's a, this is a, um, RX100 Mark 7. I'm using the, the one that uh, is filming this. It's also an RX100 Mark 7. Then I have two Fresnels for my Stellas to intensify the light. I have two Osmo Actions to do behind the scenes filming. Then I have, this is my audio kit right here. This is my, it's funny because we got all this stuff here and this is all lights and everything. The audio is just this, that's it. And you say, well, what are you recording right now with? Well, I already, I already took it out of here 
I have two audio uh, recording units in here. Zaxcom ZFR 400. I got four microphones in here, so if one of them craps out, I've got a bunch of backup microphones and another recording device. So that plus the one I'm using right now all fit into here. So the audio is the smallest part of all. Um, super clamp. Some more clamps. All right, now the, the lenses. Here we go. Uh, biggest one of all. I wasn't going to bring this, but my God, I'm in Bora Bora. I got to bring this. My <laughs> Sigma 105 1.4. It weighs a ton. It's huge. It's the size of a piano. It weighs like a piano. But the thing is about this carry-on stuff, you can have this weigh 600 pounds. No, they don't weigh it. Nobody cares. So it doesn't matter how heavy this lens is. As long as it fits in my roller bag, uh, and it's on four wheels, so I don't have to like we'll pick it up. It's not a big deal. So it's here. It made it. Okay, then we get to my, where is it here? 85, Zeiss 85 1.8. Uh, my favorite lens, the 55 1.8. My 35 1.8. And my 24 1.4. Those are my prime lenses for my full frame. 105, 85, 55, 35, 24. All right. And then my batteries, of course. And my filters, NDs, and, um, what is this? NDs and polarizing filters. Just for that nice blurry background effect, which I don't want to blur too much when I'm in a place like this. And this is another Osmo action. And uh, batteries and things like that. So, um, that's it. That's my lighting kit, and uh, oh, and then I got this bag here. Ugh. This is my around the shoulder bag. Um, oh, I got two more Stellas. So I have four lights. Another Fresnel. Uh, this is the lightweight um, mount for if I ever want to put a softbox on a Stella, because this is great. You can do it like that, and I can mount a softbox on there. Um, the charging things for the Stella. Uh, lots of lens cleansers. And this is kind of cool. This right here, because something that a lot of people don't think about is like, okay, now you've got all this stuff here. How are you going to carry it to, to your location? Well, these are, this is what this is. Look how small this is. This is what a softbox came in from Escott. A 48 by... The 36 by 48 uh, thing, and I can take all my light stands and tripods and whatever gear and put it in here. It weighs nothing. It's got a Velcro thing, got a handle. This is great, and I got two of these. I got another one here. This is by Lastalite. So these things, they fold up to nothing, and I can put them in there. Now, you're probably wondering what that is back there. <sighs> I got to admit it. I, uh, huh, this is a funny story. I said I wasn't going to do this. I said I wasn't going to do this, but I did. Um, I wasn't going to bring a long, this isn't that long, but if this got lost or stolen, it's okay. But what I, I really wanted to bring this thing. It all started when I wanted to bring my Godox 120 centimeter um, silver umbrella. You know, it's the biggest one. That it, it, it expands to the biggest modifier of all the ones that I've got. It's lightweight. It's nothing. It gives the, it, this gives the best light out of all my modifiers. And it folds up to nothing. So I wanted to go on the airplane at the check-in stand and go, can I just take this in as a... I, I check, can you take an umbrella on the plane with you as, you know, walking on the plane? And apparently there's not a big problem with it if it's a real umbrella. This is a little long for an umbrella, so I didn't want to take the chance and go have somebody go, sorry, sir, that's too big. You're going to have to check it. If I had to check this, it would have gotten broken. And I didn't want to take that chance. So I said, I might as well just put it in a long bag. And I thought, well, if I'm going to put it in a long protection bag, then I might as well put some more light stands and <laughs> soft boxes in there. So I see, that's the thing. Now I could take this one, which I wanted to take, the Glow 36, but it has this wide uh, 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 Bowens mount, which I can't fit in here because when you have all these things diagonal like this, 
and I have an extra flash bulb too, just in case. There's really not much on. Oh, actually, it does fit. Huh. I could have taken it this way. Wow. Well, anyway, I didn't think I could, so that's why I put it in here. So I actually now I have, as a bonus, two of these 120s, and I got two 10-footers, because these 10-footers by impact are too long to put in a suitcase. And uh, this ring for my uh, other saw box. And then this thing here, which is a uh, light stand that's very low to the ground. And now why do I want that? Because when you're taking videos or pictures, it's always good to have a soft light coming from below to fill in, to fill light, to fill in the shadows. But also, when you're using rectangular soft boxes, the catch light in the eyes isn't really that great. So if you have another soft box down here, like this, that's gonna reflect in the bottom of the eyes, in the shiny part of the eyes, and you're gonna have a nice catch light in the eyes. So this is, this is actually to support a, a light from below. Anyway, so this is my, if you back up and show all this, this is my, uh, <laughs> this is my photography gear for Bora Bora. And this is like a once in a lifetime trip. Aim the camera around so you can show the other side there where we are. Just turn around and look at the, the view from the room here. This is where we're at. So I am not going to not bring some great camera gear for this kind of a trip. I mean, if ever there was a trip that called for a really, you know, to make sure you got good stuff with you, this would be it. If it was Hawaii, I wouldn't care so much, but Bora Bora, my God, I mean, go all out. Sometimes you just gotta go all out. So anyway, this is my kit. People asked what it was. I don't know if you got anything out of it, but there you go. I'm uh, ready to have some fun taking some great pictures in this beautiful paradise. I should move here someday. <laughs> yeah, of course. So, and we're gonna have a vacation too. We're gonna have a nice, we're not just gonna be taking pictures the whole time, but if we do take enough pictures, then we can have a lot of it as a tax write-off. All right, so. Hope you're inspired. Now we're gonna start our vacation. Until uh, the next video, when you actually see what we do with this stuff, have a good time, and we will too. I'll see you then, bye.